Well, there you go, guys. The chain came. And like everything I've, else I've ever bought from Cloys, it always seems to be fine. Uh, you know, you gotta be careful with shipping damage on these, obviously. But it was packaged in different layers. Uh, this particular chain has uh, a straight up and advanced and a retard on the uh, crank gear. So it's gonna advance and retard or put straight up the actual crankshaft four degrees. So we're gonna do either straight up, advanced four, retarded four, which actually puts the camshaft straight up, advanced two, and retarded two. So you're only talking two degrees, okay? On the camshaft rotation, because it spins half the speed. But I just wanna show you guys the difference between this and a plain one that we had. Okay, still made in the USA. Let's start with the front. The front just has two grooves machined to uh, oil the chain instead of the six grooves. The actual keyway is machined nice. I'll lift it up, maybe you can see it. The oiling slot is machined nice. It's a chamfer on this side also to help when it comes through here to get around and feed the whole part of the gear like it's supposed to. The back side, I noticed is chamfered on the side. The other gear was kind of like chamfered. The slot is much longer to find that hole in the cam. So I don't know if it's in the right spot. We're gonna have to find out. I don't think the problems with all the gears, I think the problems with the actual cam, the cam vendors, whoever makes the blanks, they're all made by pretty much the same people, that they're drilling that hole in the wrong spot. So chances are this might have to be modified, but just the, Machining the keyway slot and the oil slot is totally different. And the machining the gear looks nice. I looked it over. So, and they, and they tell you what the marks are. Okay, the one with the rooftop is the advanced. The one with the half round is the factory, which is straight up. And then the square one is retarded. I don't know what I said before. So, um, and that's about it. So we'll get this thing in there. Um, last night when I came in the house, um, I contacted Schneider who was still open. And we have on the way now, we have a set of lifters coming. They were shipped out today, today's Thursday. Um, as well as more assembly lube, which I don't think I need. I think I still have enough in that can to do the 16 lifters. But I wanna keep it in stock. The stuff is really cheap. Uh, the, that size tub that I had was like two bucks. Or something like that three bucks somewhere in that zone and I got a couple more stickers well I guess this is throwback Thursday <laughs> we got it back apart I want to show you guys something real quick here are the two gears if you look at this one here's the keyway it's like dead center with that tooth and then there's your timing mark and if you look at this one for straight up straight up on this one is the oval one so if you look at the oval one, it's even with that. Wait, I got it wrong. Hold on. If you look up, look at the oval one, it's even with the tooth, and then there's the mark. If we go to the advanced one, you can see it's not even with it anymore. Okay. If the mark okay, can you guys see it? I uh, can't get it back far enough. We are half a line off again. We are half exactly. If I double the, the width notch they have, we're good. So, like I said, it's not the timing change, it's the cams that are drilled. And I think all these blanks are from the same people. So, it's something that's always going to continue to go on. So with that said, here we go again. That's a better shot. Don't look at the yellow I put on there. Look at the yellow in the chanfa and down in the thing. That's from the witness mark I put on here. So if you put this together, you were going to smoke it. So that's our drone. Didn't we go through this already? Okay, let's let it dry. Okay, guys, we're done. This one's much, 
deeper than this one was and that was tall enough so they just went so much further I brought it over a little bit um, did it with a bunch of drill holes again as you saw took off this shelf here and I took off the dividing wall that's good enough checked it with the dicom we're good and uh, that should be it let's put this bad boy in okay guys it's on yay baby's definitely tied into the other one so long that last stuff um this is a true roller these pins or these bushings roll on the pins some of them these bushings are fixed and it just goes around and around this they actually roll so it's a decent chain it's not the super duper high end jobby but it's not you know garbage either like I said it is a cloise it is a true roller so we have it set up I wrote it on here four degrees advanced for later on in life I have it on the triangle lined up to the sole dot there's only one dot on the thing and uh, that's where we have the keyway we have it in the right spot you can't see it's covered over with stuff now so but you always double check because there's the circle there's the half round top there's the square there's the square so there's the triangle there's the triangle this thing will feed oil through this slot here and as you can see on top of the keyway it'll feed oil it only has two slots instead of six to wing the oil out uh, we did the modification so hopefully we are good hopefully we're